Welcome to another week here at the Tullerin. This time we are continuing the work here in the attic. I am trying to finish all the framing of the eight foot walls that we have built last week and continue it all the way up to the rafters of the ceiling. So we would love to restore this window. This is up here in our master on the front of our building. We have these arches with fake stained glass right now. They actually have plexiglass in there and just painted it. The window itself, the sash, all the pieces are really rotten. So we might have to just find either an exact same size that we can use. Um, and then the question that I have for everybody here is, I am trying to do some research on stained glass double glazing. Um, I wonder if you could get anybody doing stained glass window that actually has a double, so an inside full pa uh, panel glass, so that you can get the benefit of the double glazing, so you don't have to do a storm window on the outside or on the inside, especially with such a beautiful uh, window that has stained glass in it. So I'm. If anybody knows, please comment, please let us know um, where we could look something like this up because we would really love to have a stained glass window up here in our bedroom section.
how to either calculate or measure the top plate for the wall that go or for the ceiling rafters that goes right on top here. The problem is at a 45 degree here, I have an almost 45 degree angled wall that comes off of the uh, perpendicular wall going along with the rafters. So I have some kind of angle. I obviously could calculate it right now, but I think it's too much work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run a board in the corner of both sides all the way up. Then I'm gonna measure the distance in between, cut the board and see if I can outfit it this way. So I hope it makes more sense when I show it like this. I basically just attached a stud temporarily all the way in the corner of this wall, going right up, all the way up to the ceiling. So now I can, now I know the inside of this stud is where the corner of the wall needs to be. So now I need to do the same thing over here. Put a line in between measure it and then start cutting the board to the right length and then figuring out the angles that the ends need to be on. This part is really taking its time. The main reason it is going so slow is because all of these double compound angles with the roofs coming together in all different angles and even uh, another roof, uh, another ridge coming in from another direction. So just having to figure out where it all has to go and how it has to fit that it is all plumb. I believe the saying is slow and steady wins the race. So I'd rather take my time and get it done nicely, all plumb, and I don't have to worry about it when I do the drywall because it's gonna be much more work after the fact. So doing it nice now means we will be faster in the end and also we will like the end result much better. I feel like I didn't really make much progress this week with all these angles coming in all different directions 
it's all 45 degrees. The whole roof is a 12-12 roof. So that means at a 12 foot length, it's 12 foot tall. And because the roof is built a long, long time ago, not everything is exact. So I have maybe sometimes a 45 degree angle, but then sometimes it's a 41 and a half degree angle that comes together with a 38 degree angle. So now I would have to measure all of that stuff. And it's really complicated to measure lengths, pieces like that. So it's not my best work, but I think it'll do for the drywall and putting it all together. It will look like a nice product at the end of the day. Now that, I, now that I finished these top walls and got all the rafters connected to those walls, I have to still do a wall in the bathroom so that we can separate the bathroom from the utility room. There will be a door at the same spot where the door is on the other side. Plus, we will also have to frame a shower in the bathroom over here too. Well, I think that's it. Enjoy your week and we'll see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye!